Assalamu alaikum children. Welcome back to Islamic Kids National. I'm so glad you're here and I can't wait to start learning with you today. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. In today's lesson, we're going to learn all about angels. Before we begin this video, we're going to begin by saying, repeat after me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Always remember that before you begin something, say Bismillah because it means that you're starting it in the name of Allah. Now we may begin. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created many different creatures. Some of them we can see, like the beautiful butterflies fluttering in the sky, the elephants playing and splashing in the water in the wild, like the fish in the sea, and you, and me. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also created creatures that we cannot see. Do you know what they are? There are two types. One type of creature that we cannot see are angels, which is what we're learning about today. Angels are also known as the malaika in Arabic. And angels are made out of light and can come in many different shapes and sizes, even bigger than us. Angels are workers of Allah. They do whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them to do. Each of them has a different job. Angels pray, worship, and glorify Allah all the time. They can never disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some angels carry the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is so cool and a very important job too. Some angels help Muslims in times of need. There are two angels that sit on our shoulders. These angels are called the Kiraman Katibin. These are very important. These angels are called Rakib and Atit. Those are their names. They are in charge of recording our good deeds and bad deeds. On the one that sits on our right records our good deeds, and the one on our left records our bad deeds. So every time you do something good, they will note it down. And when you do something bad, they will also note it down. So make sure to do good things, kids. Now that we know about angels, let's learn about the special angels and their duties in Islam. The first angel we will learn about is Angel Jibreel, also known as Gabriel, which is his name in English. He is a very important angel. Jibreel revealed the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He brought down Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's blessings on Laylatul Qadr, which I've also made a video about, linked in the comments so you can watch it there, which is the night of power on one of the last 10 days of Ramadan. Jibreel is mentioned in the Quran many times, and we're going to look more further into him at the end of this video. So stay tuned till the end. The second angel is Angel Mikael whose name is Michael in English. Angel Mikael directs the rain according to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it to rain, Angel Mikael will direct it, which waters the land and helps to provide food for people like us. As the angel of mercy, he also asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive people's sins. The third angel we will learn about is Angel Israfil. When it is time for the end of time on earth, judgment day, angel Israfil will blow the trumpet to signal this time. This is when we will all return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This time is when the earth will come to an end and it will be time for us all to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and go, basically go to the afterlife, which will either be Jahannam or Jannah, hell or paradise. So it will be one of those places. The third angel we will learn about is Angel Azrael. Angel Azrael is the angel of death. When it is time for a human to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Azrael is in charge of parting the soul from their body. After death, the soul still lives. Remember that. So the body goes into the grave, but the soul goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is Angel Israel's job to do that. The fourth angel we will learn about is Angel Malik. Angel Malik is the guardian of hell, Jahannam. He's in charge of hell, and he is the keeper of it. 
And finally, we will learn about the two angels, Munker and Nagir. These also have a very important role. When a person passes away, they are buried in a grave, right? These two angels then pay them a visit and ask them three very important questions. Number one, who is your God? Number two, who is your prophet? Number three, what is your religion? They punished those in the grave who did not believe these things or did bad deeds. Well done. You learned about angels in this, in this lesson. Now, are you ready for some fun facts? Because guess what? This video isn't over yet. Fun fact number one. Angels are made of pure light. We looked at angels as one specific type of creatures that we cannot see. Another type of existing creature that is invisible to us is called jinn, and they are made of fire. Whilst mankind, such as us humans, are made out of a type of clay. That is why we are so bond with, bonded with earth. Fun fact number two. Angels are very large. We looked at this later on, later um, earlier in the video. Imam Suyuti said that the greater the task of the angel, the greater the size of the angel. This tells us that Angel Jabril was a very big angel because he was given a very important job. And a big one. Fun fact number three, angels also have wings that may come in pairs of two, three, or four. Or they may even count up to hundreds of wings. Angels can even take on the form of a human. Now, let's learn some more important things about Angel Jibreel. Angel Jibreel is the angel that is right under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the leader of all angels. All the other angels look up to Jibreel and follow him. That is a very big duty that he has, and that is also why he is so important. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, and this is written in the Quran, that he saw the angel Jibreel twice in his full form. The Prophet said he filled the entire horizon. He has 600 wings. Wow! There are pearls and rubies that constantly fall from those wings. This is mentioned in a hadith in the Quran. And that's not it. The Prophet also said his wings are green and there are jewels that fall from his wings, just as we learned, which is also mentioned in another hadith. Sometimes the Prophet saw Jibreel only in, only in his radiant form, with a voice. Other times, Jibreel would um, come in the form of a human, which is how we know that angels can take on the form of a human. So, Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and got to learn something new today. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Goodbye, children.